All right, welcome back. We have returned from the field with our container of pill bugs. I'll show you some of these. So those are our experimental organisms. Uh, we're going to leave them in there for now. Uh, so now it's going to be time to test their behavior in some different conditions. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you lab exercise 26.2a, uh, which is looking at kinesis behavior in pill bugs. And ideally we would be testing this in some petri dishes. Um, got a couple different sizes here. Uh, but you probably don't have petri dishes uh, at your house. So if you don't, you could use something like a um, uh, an empty food container with a lid or a takeout container or some plastic cups or glass cups or really whatever you have on hand. Uh, some other things that would be handy, uh, some napkins or paper towels. Uh, if you happen to have forceps, great. Uh, otherwise, you could use a spoon or something like that. Uh, and also, if you happen to have paint brushes, those would be help helpful to move the pill bugs around. So what I'm going to do, uh, because I have them, I'm going to use the Petri dishes. Um, but again, you wouldn't have to use these. And I'm going to set up uh, two different conditions. Uh, so one of them is going to be dry, one of them is going to be wet, but otherwise we want these to be the same. So I'm just going to actually use the same napkin. And I'll cut a round piece of this napkin. A couple round pieces. And if you happen to have filter paper uh, at your house, you are all set, but I didn't even bring any of that home. So we are going to, to make do. have some circles of filter paper that we can put in our test containers. And we are going to make one of these um, the moist uh, test chamber. And we'll label that. And then the other one is going to be the dry one. All right, and I happen to, to have some um, purified water, but if you don't, tap water would work just fine. And you just want to get that paper wet, but not soaking. We don't want these critters to be swimming in there. Okay, actually, I'm going to turn that upside down. Uh, I guess one other thing that could work really well here is like a coffee filter. So, okay. So we have our environment set up. And now we're going to transfer some of those pill bugs into the environment. So I'm going to bring this a little bit closer so we can see what we're doing. And for this, I'm just going to use these paint brushes to transfer five pill bugs into each container. So we'll start with the moist one. Oh, come on. And again, you want to be gentle with these. Uh, after we're done with our experiments, we will take them back to where they came from. Oh, look at all those. Look at all those. Three. One more. Okay. 
stuff in there. Put five in here. And ideally you want to select your test subjects at random. I'm just going based on which ones are easiest to get in there. Nope. You want to be kind of careful, make sure they don't escape in this process. So we have our uh, test chambers. We have our test subjects in the test chambers. Uh, make sure you seal up your stock supply of pill, pill bugs. And now we are going to wait for five minutes. Uh, so we wanna put these critters back in the dark. So I'm gonna just use this um, out container. It's nice and opaque, so this will uh, give them a nice dark habitat. And we're going to set a timer for five minutes. So at the end of five minutes, we will uh, lift up the container and we will track track their movements. So. see the timer there. Um, yeah, oh well, you don't really need to, to see it. I will uh, alert you when it is ready. Uh, so what we're going to do in the tracking of their movements is uh, we were, we're going to keep track of how many are moving overall. So you actually might need to watch this part of the video a few times. Uh, so count the number of pill bugs that are moving in each dish. And then uh, we're going to choose one moving pill bug in each dish and determine its rate of locomotion. So the revolutions per minute, the, the number of times it goes around the, the edge of the Petri dish uh, in one minute. And then also determine the rate of turning by counting how many turns, how many direction reversals per minute uh, for one of the pill bugs in each dish. So that's the data we're gonna collect. Uh, you might wanna use this time to make a hypothesis about what you expect. And I will uncover, I'll pause the video and uncover these when the time is almost up. Okay, the five minutes is almost up. I've kind of rearranged things and it looks like we have a couple of spectators. So I'm going to set the timer for a minute now. So we're going to track their behavior for a minute. And remember, we're, we're looking for the total number that are moving in each condition and uh, and then you'll pick one uh, pill bug in each condition to track, uh, see how many revolutions, uh, how many trips around the edge of the dish it makes in that minute. And then pick a different pill bug to see how many reversals of direction uh, it will make in that minute. So you might need to watch this part of the video several different times uh, to get all this data. Okay, we are ready to lift the lid.
All right, maybe we should take another uh, minute of data because it didn't seem like they started moving very much. So we can try this again. Okay, well, uh, yeah, so there we have it. There's the data. Uh, you can watch this again a few different times to, to um, collect the data you need, but this concludes exercise 26.2A.